Hello and welcome to this video in which we'll show you some of the new features added to Modular Beta. The first thing you'll notice is the new licensing system uh, which allows you to use fully featured Modular even when you're offline. The only thing you need to do is to copy paste the license key we have sent you over the email into this input field and select activate Modular Beta button. This will load up the new user interface. Now I want to, to show you some of the new features we have added to Modular. The first thing is an option to create buildings based on the selected edges. As you already know previously, you had to select a face first and then generate building based on that face. Now you have the option to create buildings also based on the edges that form a closed loop but there are a few options regarding that. So the options are here in the menu options, create buildings from edges, don't create. If I select this and I have some edges selected, Modeler will not create any buildings based on selected edges, but it will create default buildings as if nothing was selected. I'll go undo. Now, the second option is to create building when at least one of the edges that form a closed loop is selected. So if I have this edge, the building will be created here if, if it forms the closed loop. Okay. And the third option is to create a building only when all of the edges forming the closed loop are selected. So if I only select something like this, it will not create a building. I'll just get the notification that I need to se select all of the edges of this loop. So, and if I go some to select something like this, I will create a building based on, on this edge loop. I go create, okay. And this is not created because this edge is not selected. So this functionality is particularly useful when you for example, import uh, building footprints from AutoCAD and uh, SketchUp does not create faces inside the, the these outlines. So you can just import uh, the file, select all the edges and I'll just go here if maybe something is not selected, some, some of the edges and I'll go create and all of the buildings are created in one step. Okay, let me just adjust a bit, a bit this uh, development so it, it, it matches the surrounding a bit better. Now I'll show you the, another functionality which is uh, randomizing building heights. Let's say I have something like this and I want to randomize it a bit so it's not completely aligned here at, at the top. Um, I have two options here. The first option is I go to tools, randomize building heights. The first option is to set absolute number of stories. So if I say uh, absolute number, uh, I will, let's say, go to five and eight stories. And when I press OK, all of the selected buildings will be between five and eight stories high. OK. And if I go to randomize building heights and select, uh, select relative number of stories, the, the randomization will be based on building's current height. So if I go to relative number of stories minus two to plus two, each of the buildings will be at most two stories higher or two stories lower, even this one here. Okay, I select okay. And this is the result. It didn't change here because it is a random. <clears throat> if you're not satisfied, you just undo and run it again. You can see that this one was also changed. Okay. Um, now I want to show you the most important new feature of Modular Beta, which is creating of complex buildings. So. This way you can, you can create mixed-use buildings or uh, buildings with more complex shapes. 
first I will just draw, I will just create uh, some basic floor plan, which is aligned to, uh, to this development. Okay, I created a face. I go and create a building. And so this will be my first two stories. I will just set it like this and I will select that it is a service land use. And on top of it, I want to, let's say, create a hotel with three stories. I go to hotel land use and let's put another building on top of it, which is, a, let's say, residential building. I go and I'll just create a building. By default, it's already residential. So if I now look at the built up area, it's calculated for the whole, whole, whole area. It says 3,842 meters. And when I select all of these three buildings and create a new complex building by clicking on this icon here, you will see that the built up area will be recalculated immediately. So what this means is that there are no separate built up areas for these parts anymore, but we have one built up area for the whole complex building. And now that we have created this complex building, we can edit it in the similar manner as we can edit the regular, uh, the, the simple modular building. So, Let's say if I go and pick it up, I, I'll raise it to something like this. It will be adjusted immediately. Okay, I'll lower this one. As you can see, the ratio uh, remains the same as it was when I created the building. So if I, if I want to change the, the ratio, uh, let me try something like this. Okay. If I want to raise this one to, to match this height of the, the development. I'll just go and set it to five stories. And you can see that Modelure immediately updates also the building that sits on top of the, this bottom building. I can go and lower this a bit. It all gets recalculated. And at this point, when, when I change something inside the complex building, this is the new ratio of, of uh, complex building. So if I raise it again to double the height, this will be the ratio that Modelure takes to, to calculate the new building. Another interesting thing is that you can now also set separate story heights. So I want to have the same story heights in this part. I go to set the first story height, I'll introduce a new functionality, which is sync here. Um, if I press S, it will sync both first and other stories heights here based on the value I input here. So I go sync five and all of the story heights will be five meters high. Now let's go to four. Okay, as you can see, all of the top buildings are adjusted immediately. Uh, this is not good, so this one, something like this. So now even if I change the other story's height to, let's say, 2 meters, this one remains the same as the default parameters are overloaded. Okay? And even here I can go and say sync to 3, and all of the stories are 3 meters high. So... Um, you can play around with it in, in this manner. Uh, if you want, you can also, let me just go and reset this. So it's back to the default heights. Let's make this one 4.5 meters. And let's make it just two stories high. Then I'll go here and set it to three meters. Now, what I want to do is to, let's say, an, uh, I want to add another part. Um, I can either go here to 
in, inside the complex building and just copy part of the building and it will be the complex building will be immediately adjusted even if I lower this one let's say to something like this you can see that the buildings get adjusted immediately let's make this one re residential and so you can play around to to create uh, complex buildings this way and another way of uh, adding building parts is also that let me just adjust this you can simply draw a simple building let's say something like this create a building and uh, let's, let's say for the sake of clarity add another land use and when you have this building selected you also select the complex building and go to create complex building again and the new complex building will be rebuilt so again then you have these parts that you can move around or reshape if you want this is getting too crazy so I'll just put it this way and leave it up to you okay so hope you like this new functionality of modeler and uh, we're eager to hear what you have to say about it and thank you for watching bye bye